drink champagne I'm totally vibing It's true what they say It's all about timing Hi guys, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to Unscripted. If you're joining this channel for the very first time, I post vlogs as well as Western fragrance reviews. So if that style of content is something that you like, please do consider subscribing and joining the family. Why I put a Western in quotation, guys, is I do have a second channel, C Chronicles Talking Sense, where I focus mostly on Middle Eastern fragrances. So you can check out that channel as well. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And if you're returning, thank you so much, guys, for the continued support i appreciate you guys as always uh, before i get into today's video which is a review i want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has supported this channel i want to say thank you to everybody who drops who has you know taken their time to drop a comment everybody who's taken their time to watch i am humbled guys we have grown uh pretty fast there so i appreciate each and every one of you who has decided to click that subscribe button and to support this channel now welcome to today's video guys uh to Today I have this a little mini MFK's Aqua Media Cologne Forte. Uh, please guys bear with me for now. This is a small channel. I cannot afford full size bottles, especially when you're talking about uh, Western fragrances. Uh, where I am based, they are very, very expensive. And I, I know it's a worldwide thing, but uh, with us, because of shipping logistics and all that, it just becomes ridiculous, right? A full size of this would probably be about 400. So I'm going to bring a lot of minis here. Uh, if you don't mind, then that's okay. So this is our little mini. I am going to spray it. I'm going to spray it here because I've been, you know, doing videos back to back. So I do not have a space anymore. I'm just going to do one spray here. Okay. So that is the one spray. So that's plenty there, right? Now this fragrance guys is built around mocha tea, uh, lemon verbena. There is also some, uh, bergamot there, hedion as a note, musk and wood. And the one thing I can say offset just one spray there or two or three sprays is it's going to give you a DNA that doesn't really scream complex. It's kind of built around what I would say are basic notes, if you will. OK, uh, but it is the use of those notes or maybe the expertise of MFK uh, that then makes these notes kind of interpret some type of way. But it is a fragrance that uniformly I can see not wowing a lot of people because it just comes across as, mm, OK, I've smelled this before. OK, but we are here, of course, to decipher this fragrance. OK, uh, this is a fragrance that's going to open up with that uh, fennel doing the most, especially and how this fennel interprets is uh it takes you on like a licorice type of journey so you're gonna feel as though this fragrance has got the inclusion of licorice after that or after which a quick swoosh of like a clean citrusy uh roundup then uh, you know circles this fragrance so you are gonna feel a freshness a cleanness especially after that uh, licorice thing relents, okay? So basically what I'm saying here is it does open up fresh and all that, but there's going to be like a prominent licorice note, which I personally kind of enjoy. I wish it would have endured. The fact that it is bouncing off fennel, it's not actual licorice on its own, is the reason why possibly, you know, it just had to come there, do its thing, and then kind of go, you know, to the back seat. So um, it this, this fragrance in that 30 minute mark or somewhere there about then becomes like a citric, presentation there are wafts of that mocha tea presenting as a grassy so there's going to be also a green type of wrap up to this fragrance i must uh comment how this fragrance was created in such a way that it kind of gives each note like a time to shine when it comes to fresh and citrus fragrances sometimes they just present as one thing and then that's it okay now this fragrance will give you that serving of what i said you know feels initially like the licorice and then there's going to be the citrus coming in there from the uh bergamot that's going to add like a fresh cleanness there and you're going to get like an aromatic wrap up of things uh possibly coming from a spice or or even that green tone there because some of these greens you know can have a, a spicy aromatic kick there and then then a, a grassy, you know, and then a grassy presentation of something that's coming or bouncing off that mocha tea. This fragrance is going to remind you of a lot of greens that you, you may be used to garnish, not necessarily as a meal or whatever it is. So it will have like a prominent kind of parsley type of note. Some of you are going to feel wafts of like a pickle in this uh, fragrance and that cilantro herb also kind of like adds like a soapy weight to this fragrance. So yeah, I do expect 
like uh, you know something like that in this cologne uh, it is a cologne but to my nose the lasting power is remarkable uh it's one fragrance that when you spray it for the first time or when you just uh smell the nozzle like this you tempted to do 10 15 20 sprays but this can easily choke you out i feel the concentration of the ingredients here uh, are heavyweight so it is clean but with the endurance it's fresh but with the endurance okay so and it does present that grassiness in its dip uh, so everything here interprets interprets as rich now right. this fragrance has been uh, likened a lot to elizabeth arden's green tea and i think this is why maybe it's coming across as underwhelming to some because if you look at green tea at uh, the price for green tea and this i think this full size if you're buying it maybe from the united states is around 200 or something so i think maybe uh the slagging that this fragrance is probably getting for now i mean, i could be wrong it might just blow up because this is a 2023 composition i just think maybe the the reason why maybe there isn't like that 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 hype if you will is uh, because if it does borrow a lot from green tea which is also an mfk creation maybe people are thinking mm, is it really worth the extra coins if you get what i'm saying um i do remember reading something and it made me laugh this is not off my head so i am going to quote i don't know who the person i can't remember who the person was but i am quoting this they said this fragrance simply put uh feels as though Elizabeth Arden's, you know, green tea, which green tea is now the mother, migrated to, you know, elevate their status. And then they went on to have children in a better country and everything. And they made sure that these kids have got uh, like a good standard of education. They have, the, you know, good food, good housing and good. They just, you know, gave that as an example. And uh, laughable as that sounds it does feel like that to an extent that if you look at green tea and the way green tea is like a three four hour type of lasting power fragrance and then the way this one is beastly it does feel like mfk did clone himself but this time decided you know to make sure that he uh intensifies the ingredients so the fact that this translates as green soapy uh fresh grassy uh clean it should not make you mistake it for a light tea okay it definitely asserts itself as a summer kind of dna summer spring dna but this is the sort of freshie that you can wear even in winter because you're going to be wrapped around in this uh cloud of of green in a nutshell that is what i can say about this fragrance great lasting power uh i sprayed two sprays on my uh, dress and um i i made sure to, to to spray my dress around the neck there while i was testing it and it did it did really last a good while the fact that it's an everyday dna maybe it's not going to cut it for some but uh, from a business pers perspective i think i do understand mfk uh it is something that i mentioned even in the kali's while i was doing the kali reviews uh on my other channel i said in as much as uh you know that uh, what do you call that juicy apple feels very ordinary very bath and body works type of thing when a house has got this range of you know of, of, of fragrances to choose from they have to cater even for you know the most basic where you know they've got to make some of these fragrances where a nose that doesn't want anything complicated will kind of appreciate so from that perspective i think i do understand mr mfk uh not bad if you like this type of uh dna but i think i'm going to stick to my little five ml c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today uh, let's meet in the comment section where we'll obviously discuss more about this fragrance let me know your thoughts this is a 2023 composition have you smelt it do you think it's worth it i would love to know meanwhile do turn on post notifications while you're at it that way you get to be notified on this channel and on my, on my other channel anytime i upload a video stay safe stay blessed and i will see you in the next one guys bye for now